Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office tells me that they are conducting active rescue operations right now. They have over 100 people in there that are trapped. At least nine people have been killed in the state of Florida and search and rescue efforts are underway right now. So we are here at Signature Flight and Support in Tampa, Florida. If you guys don't know, Hurricane Milton's on its way to destroy Tampa, supposedly. And we just got hit by Helene and who knows what's gonna happen. So it's up for grabs. The big thing about this and the point of this is that we're supposed to be in Las Vegas for Olympia this week. And obviously we've invested a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of resources. We've got a lot of things planned for this. So we gotta make sure we get out there by any means necessary. Huge delays as you, as you can tell. Uh, so we got in line there for fuel and uh, we'll try to get out as fast as we can. So right now we are heading out to the plane that we've been waiting on here for a couple hours and we gotta go sit out in the plane for another hour, but that's okay because we gotta get in a line. So we wanna get that line so we can get out of here. So that's what we gotta do, so that's what we're gonna do. So at that point we're gonna have this private plane and we're gonna rock and roll and hope we get to Dallas. Wait, what's a line? You know, like a conga line. Yeah, see, she's not used to a line. That's the thing. She's just going right in or going right from there. So, Whatever. you know, patience is a virtue. I've been telling you this for years. I don't have that. No patience for her. Well, let's see what we got out here. It's a beautiful night in Tampa before Hurricane Milton. And man, these planes are lined up, ready to rock and roll and get people the hell out of here. You know, I'd like to say we were going to go on a vacation. Well, we're going to go on a family little trip and a Titan business trip all at once. So it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do some exciting things. We're gonna do some cool stuff and see some cool things. And I just can't wait. So walking out to the plane right now. Let's, uh, let's keep moving here. And hopefully it's gonna be a nice smooth ride. Oh yeah, we in like Flint. We're here in the, in the plane. And uh, we're sealing this bad boy up. We've got everybody in here. And we've got just enough room with all the suitcases and luggages. So at that point, we're going to strap in and uh, we're going to take a little trip to Dallas. And in Dallas, we're going to go stay there. I saw a hotel for the night, a little slumber party, the Titan way. And then hop on a plane in the morning and off to Las Vegas. We go to the Olympia 60th anniversary. That's right, touchdown. You know how we do it. Dallas, Texas. Man, we just touched down in Dallas. And uh, this is our first leg of the trip. Tomorrow we'll finish the rest and go to Vegas. Good morning. All right, so time to go get ourselves to Vegas. Tuesday morning, we are here in Dallas, Texas, and we are heading to Las Vegas for Olympia, the 60th anniversary. And Titan Medical Center has a huge, huge booth there and a huge presence, a huge sponsorship, and a lot of special guests, a lot of people are coming. So we couldn't let people down. We got to make it out there because it'd be one hell of a ride. Let's go. Hey, good morning. We're taking off from uh, Dallas Love Field and we're heading off to Las Vegas, McCarran International. Be about a two hour, 20 minute flight. Great weather today. Should be nice and smooth, nice morning for flying. And uh, we'll be there uh, just before noon today. So have a great flight.
Wow, we just touched down in Vegas. About to get off this plane, stretch my arms. It wasn't too bad because it was only halfway. It was like two and a half hours. So two and a half hours from Dallas. And it was two and a half hours from Tampa to Dallas. So at that point, not too bad. Um, not more comfortable than you know any other flight I think we would take commercial wise. So we're gonna get out of here, go check into the hotel and uh, relax a little bit, get some sleep and catch up from, from yesterday's craziness. Finally here. Yes, of course. Thank now you. I appreciate Vegas. everything Have you bring us. Stay safe. Yeah, I appreciate boy. it. All right. All right. <laughs> let's get in this bad boy and let's get on the road. Well, we're here. We're in the stretch Escalade, which is pretty nice. I'm surprised it fit all our bags. I was really surprised that it fit all our bags. But they used the third row seating back there, too, to accommodate, which is what you got to do. All right, so we got to the hotel, got checked into the rooms. Now I'm kind of relaxing. I know Sharice and them are in here somewhere. Let's go find them and see what they're doing. Oh, of course, now here we are. They're at the bar. I ain't gonna have a drink, but they're gonna have a drink, I guess. A lot of stress, sharing a, a, a cocktail. Hi, we are here in Las Vegas, Nevada. A few moments later. We were here at uh, Virgin Hotel just was not up to the Titan standard. Paid a lot of money for these rooms. So at that point, you know, I'm out of here. I'm going over to the Aria. All right, Sharice. Yeah. Get all these bags out. Ready to roll. We are here, we are at the Aria. We just checked into our room, which this is what Vegas should be, right? I paid about the exact same money I paid over at uh, the Virgin Hotel. And instead of 960 square foot of not that much good stuff, I got 2,000 square foot of a lot of good stuff. So it's just a difference, you know, at this point. I'm really mad I even booked over there. The only reason I did is because we had a team coming in and I want to make sure everybody's at the same place. But that didn't work out as of yet. So at this point, here we are. Look at this. This is gorgeous. All right, guys, we are here. It's Wednesday in Las Vegas. I don't know, it's probably like six o'clock. We are walking the strip and we have Peter with us. And this is his first time ever to Vegas. And obviously we want to show him like, hey, there's some cool stuff in Vegas. It's not a bunch of just clubs and shows. There's some really cool spots to go. So we're walking the strip, showing him some of these places. We're obviously getting to stay in a really cool hotel. That's just one part of it. But getting to be on the strip, in Las Vegas is a whole nother part. And I never got to go out to Las Vegas, so I was like 21. So I couldn't tell you what it is to come out here at 15. But I'm sure it's like, oh my God, you know? Obviously you can't drink, you can't do anything like that. But there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. And Vegas has really turned the tide since when I was 15 years old to when he is now. It's, it's more family oriented out here than ever. They understand that to a certain degree. Obviously this is an adult's playground. And I really wouldn't recommend this to, to families, the kids. But if you do have kids and you have to come here, there's some stuff for you to do. Oh, yes. Super cool. We love checking out all these stores in these different cities. So super cool to come in Lids and see in these different spots. Like we were just in New York and we got to see the Lids in New York. And then obviously we have Lids in Tampa. But you know what? When you go to different cities, you see different things, right? Especially the home teams and stuff like that. So you'll see a lot more Raiders stuff here you know, and all that, because that's our home team. And soon enough, they're gonna have a baseball team. Think about that. All right. Some 
crazy stuff in Vegas. I haven't seen anything too crazy yet though, but I'm sure I'm gonna see something very shortly. See how I, I grab one hand, pull myself up there? What's up guys, we are here and uh, we just got done with Crystal's Mall. Went over there, just checked out all the shops, showed her they have everything you could possibly want in there. And now we're hungry and to work up that appetite, so we gotta eat. So where we go, we're at Proper Eats here in the Aria, in our hotel which if you've been to a really good Vegas hotel, they usually have a lot of good place to eat in those hotels. And Vegas is all about the food too. And I'm not a foodie, I like to use it for energy, but hey, listen, it tastes really good. I'm all about it too. I'm all about good food. So let's go check out and see what they have in here. Get a meal. I'm you see, you gotta you got feed her, cause watch out. I might get angry, but she gets really angry. 